Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today I have you here in Apaca at the Oaks at Kelly's Park. And this is a Toll Brothers project. And we are sitting or standing on the outside backyard, beautiful pool of the Fern Croft model. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this model. It is a four bedroom, three bathroom, three car tandem garage home with exactly 3316 square feet and a starting base price at the time of this video of 590. Beautiful, gorgeous home. Um, we have HOA, which is $119 per month in this community, which includes a pool, cabana, walking trails, playground, and you have smart home features that come with the homes in this community, such as Wi-Fi thermostats and garage door openers. So stay with me, hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons down below, and let's go see this beautiful model. All right, guys, so here we are at the Ferncroft farmhouse model. This is a gorgeous home. Here, as we start, we have the, we have the uh, patio in the front of the home or your porch area. On the side here, this is the model right now, but this will be where your garage will be, your two-car garage. But let's head in as the foyer is high. You have a window pane here in the door set, but take notice of the combo lock here so you don't need a key to get into the home. Now, entering the home directly to your left, we have a large open den or slash office room here. So it's a flex room with the two windows for natural lighting, of course. So you see you have a lot of space here for your furniture, for your office needs. Look, I like this better than the fan. Pam, they put that instead of they put the lamp instead of the, the fan there that's great nice yeah um take notice of the floor and the space of the hallways now the floor is upgraded rectangular tiles is very nice it's also six feet wide six feet wide how long is this run you know that, I didn't that you get <laughs> my bad all right so as we get to this juncture of the home we have a bedroom and a bathroom here so i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and i'll describe the bathroom we have the vanity linen closet and we have the walk-in shower with tile all the way up to the ceiling that's done right very nice and as you pull out of this room transitioning into the next room is the bedroom space where you have lots of room and the ceilings are about 10 feet up look at this now this is where the sliding door would be for this closet but this is actually a step-in closet. So you can see I go all the way in. So lots of great space in this home. Take a walk with me real quick. As we get out on this area, this is the door for your garage. That's the model office now. But then the home opens all the way up. Now on this section here, this is typically used as your formal dining room. And you know, you have the pillar here right and you put your dining room table but i like this as a seating area it's very nice across from that we have what they call the harry potter room like so they have all their paint and, and materials in here but lots of storage space for your christmas trees lights jingle bell balls all that stuff um as we walk forward we have the stairs to upstairs and we're going to do that in a minute but i want to show you how much the home opens all the way up we have our gathering room here so large furniture all up on in this room is great. I love the slat paneling that they use from the top of the ceiling transitioning to the bottom. Now this TV, this is what I'm talking about, Pam. Yes, you see finally. that? That's awesome. And then you have your creden the credenza right here, which is really nice. Two windows for natural lighting. Then we transition over to now the informal dining eating area which is beautiful against these pocket doors. And I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. And then we have the island that leads into the kitchen room or the kitchen space. And do you have the measurements on the island? It's 12 by 14. 12 by I'm four. I'm sorry, it's 12, 12 by four. 12 by four, yeah, I was gonna say 14, yeah. that's the whole room. No, but I, no the <laughs> but island, the countertop here is 13 feet long. 13 feet that's long is this counter space here with this granite. 
beautiful. And now it's not a gourmet kitchen, it's traditional style, which is awesome. But you have the stainless steel appliances, Whirlpool, with the uh, gas burning range, because it's a gas community. You have your gooseneck here, with your detachable head and deep sink, very nice. And then your dishwasher is on this side of the island. Again, lots of space for your coffee uh, and all the other trinkets you like to put on here. But we have 42 inch cabinet with crown molding going up and you have the double stack above the microwave, very nice. And here is your refrigerator built in, which is stainless steel refrigerator, very nice. We have the butler's pantry here with more 42 inch cabinetry and more cabinetry on the bottom. So this is where you would be serving at a catered event and anything like that. Now you need to ignore this room because this is the, the design center and that's typically part of the garage as your three car tandem. So that doesn't come with the home, but this pantry here does. And it's a pretty substantial size pantry. And guys, we're gonna start heading upstairs. So, but before, wait, wait, I almost missed the best part. Let's go outside. Look at the pocket doors. I promised I was gonna take you back and I did it, so my bad. The pocket doors open all the way up. Right guys? Here's the pocket doors. And then it leads you into your extended covered lanai area here with these beautiful sandstone pavers. With the two notch outs, I can imagine a Pam, right? Like a outdoor, outdoor kitchen, kitchen. Yep. right here. So yep. the smoke goes out through the portholes. Very nice. But you have lots of seating area. And then now the pool, guys, unfortunately, does not come with the home. But it shows you what can be done with a property this size. Love this pool. This is amazing with the sun deck. It feels very resort. It does. It does. Very, very lagoonish. Yes. I like that. So they did a beautiful job with this model. You can't really blame them. And now we're going to go upstairs. Come on, guys. All right. So you don't want to see me struggle up the stairs. So here's some Hollywood magic. All right, guys. So here we are on the second floor. And as soon as you come off the stairway, we have this beautiful, large loft space, great TV, window for natural lighting. But look how much furniture fits in this loft space. The ceiling height, go ahead, Pam. It's 20 by 20. 20 by 20 is the loft space. But before we get ahead of ourselves, look at the stairway, guys. Um, I love the window above the platform. Very nice. Wood railing with the spindles. Gorgeous. I mean, I know stairs are stairs, but it does matter when you have a home of this quarterly level. So I like that. Now we're going to start with this part of the home past the loft. And we have a linen closet here. And we have a domestic space here with your laundry, which has the washer, the dryer. Also, we're gonna come off, and there's two rooms here and a bathroom. We'll start with the bathroom. So it has your vanity. Then it has, of course, the tub with the tile all the way up. That's the way you should do it. Tiling all the way to the ceiling. Very nice. And to the right, we have another bedroom space here with two windows for natural lighting. Look how, look how big this room is, guys. Love it. And you have all this, the cadenza, full-size bed. But take a look at that walk-in closet that has a window for natural lighting itself. And a lot of the kids' rooms these days like those um, closets with the windows for reading spaces. They can read in peace. Very nice. All right, now passing that bathroom, we head into the other bedroom. And with again, cool. we sorry, have another- I was say with the cool wallpaper. Yeah, the, yeah, the cool wallpaper, the cool, that, yeah, I love the cameras. That's my jam, so <laughs> love the camera wallpaper, that's awesome. And we have a walk-in closet here. and you can see how big this room is. Now, let me take you to the other side of the home, guys. Again, now one of the things we, if you can see from this view, 
I like the platform before the loft and the stairway is very big. And we also have a utility closet here. It's locked though. <laughs> but we enter the primary bedroom suite. Guys, look, take a look how big this room is. It's humongous. Pam is all the way over there. I'm over here. How big is it? 19 by 16. 19 by 16 is the size of this primary bedroom suite with two windows for natural lighting. And we have this king size bed. This is like a real sofa. Yes. Two credenzas because, you know, why not? But the light looks so small. Yeah, I think I'm, you know what? Yeah, you need like either a bigger fan or a bigger chandelier. But I do like the herringbone plat, um, wood planks that they did in the tray ceiling. That is a very nice look. But now as we walk forward, total, total space, we have his and hers closets here. And then we move into the primary bath suite, which has the vanities with the two sinks here, quartz countertop. You have the little sitting area here, large mirror. And then we have this beautiful shower with the tile all the way up. And the bathroom size is 10 by 10. The bathroom is 10 by 10. And there's even a bench. That's how big it is, right by the window. Very big bench window. And here is your commode space right here. Very nice. So guys, that is the home. It is a gorgeous home. Give me a couple of seconds and I'll give you some final words. Hey guys, so this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. I hope this home made sense for you and your family. Remember, Wakevia State Park and the springs are not too far from here. You're about 40 minutes from Disney, 30 minutes from the MCO airport. And also there's a brand new Publix literally down the block from here. If this house makes sense to you and your family's needs, give me a call 407-790-0929. Now I'm gonna jump in this pool and you guys gotta go. See you guys later.